What's up, San Army? So today's video, we're doing deadlift with a bad back. For those of you guys who don't know, when I was 16 years old, I ended up getting a bulging disc, which kind of messed up my lifting for till now. But about uh, two years ago, I got started doing dead started doing deadlifts again, and just learned mobility, stretching more, foam rolling, and eventually I was able to, able to start doing deadlifts until about in July I injured my lower back again squatting which is why I switched to the front squats so anyways I've never injured my back deadlifting before knock on wood I never will so in today's video we're gonna go through things I learned mental cues and keep it short and simple see you guys in the video over So let's talk about today's workout. We're doing deadlifts, seven sets of five with a 435 pound training max. Now my training max last um, cycle was 405, so I bumped it up a good 30 pounds to 435. And I gotta admit, deadlifts have never felt better. Even about a year ago when I was hitting them consistently, now they just feel amazing. I'm not sure what it is, but with these videos, I'm going to try to teach you guys something I learned. What I'm focusing on is learning at least one thing every workout video or every workout and sharing that with you guys. So today, what I learned is foam rolling after you hit your deadlifts, especially for you, um, people like me. My lower back tends to tighten up at the end of my workout, so foam roll. Okay? Everyone's pretty good with foam rolling pre-workout. But I don't know many people that foam roll post workout. There's a lot of good studies that show foam rolling post workout actually helps loosen up the muscle, brings blood back into that muscle, and just helps the recovery process a lot faster. So, what I did after today's workout, I foam rolled right after my deadlifts. So, right after my set of deadlifts, I jumped on the foam roller and immediately my back loosened up. Like, it feels amazing right now. It feels like I can go back to the gym and hit more deadlifts. So, that's what I took away from today's workout. Also, as you can see, I stepped away from the straps. I'm messing with mixed grip. Now, mixed grip is very controversial when it comes to bodybuilding because, you know, I do feel it like you pull more from one side when you do mixed grip. So what I'm doing is I'm switching. Every other set, I'm switching back and forth to keep it even. Also, it just feels better. Like, to be honest, it feels better than using straps. It feels more raw. I don't know if it's like a mental thing or I watch too many power lifters, but it just feels great. Also, what I'm remembering is to tuck my lats into my pockets of my pants. So when you're getting down to a deadlift, I'm pushing my lats, flaring them into uh, my pant pocket, my pants pockets, and utilizing them. So lately, as I've been doing deadlifts, the next day and the day after, my lats have been sore. So it's a really good sign. Um, both on my front squats and my deadlift just wreck my back. Like, when you front squat heavy, you'll feel it on your upper back. So anyways, foam rolling after your workout, give it a try guys. I'm gonna start doing it for all my muscle groups, upper body, lower body, everything, and getting back in the hang because it's all about that recovery time. For me, since I'm hitting everything about five to six days a week, I wanna recover as fast as possible and come in fresh because we're using heavy workloads and we're trying to make some gains. So that's the end of the video. Let me show you my post-workout meal real quick and see you guys in a bit. Post-workout meal. So shout out to all my Indian folk watching this video. We got chicken tiki masala. This is leftovers from last night actually. We even touched this. Me and my girlfriend split one of these and ate it with lots of rice and it was done. So this chicken tiki masala. We got some rice over here. We ate it with some samosas and some naan. So samosas, I don't even know how to explain samosas, but naan is little bread things. So that's the post-workout meal. Also, we're going to Costco tomorrow, or today as you guys watch this video. 
So comment below if you guys want me to film that. If not, it'll probably be honestly similar to almost all the rest of my Costco videos. But if you guys want me to film it anyways, comment below and let me know. And also comment below how you guys like these short videos where I just give you guys tips and things that I learned on my heavy compound movements because those are the hardest to put together. Of course, I'll be coming out with more tip videos as we go along so we can all learn and grow together. So, see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. See you guys in the next video. A lot. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!